and uh, I am really excited to be here in Tonga, especially now. It's whale season, baby! <laughs> Hello and welcome to our sailing channel. I am Warren. And I am Erica. And together, we, we are, are We sail. sail. For the last five years, we have called the open sea our home, living full time on our 44 foot catamaran. From our humble beginnings, we've embarked on a journey of a lifetime, sailing over 25,000 nautical miles. Starting out with a little more than a dream and a compass, we have honed our skills and deepened our connection to the sea. Now navigating the remotest islands of the South Pacific, from the vast expanse of the open ocean to the secluded shores of coral ringed atolls, we've embraced the challenges, the beauty, and the serenity of life at sea. Join us on this epic voyage of discovery every Wednesday as we invite you to witness our adventures, share our triumphs, and experience the magic of the ocean through our eyes. Welcome to We Sail. Hey, welcome back everyone, and thank you for joining us. Just a quick catch up here. In last week's episode, we officially checked into a new country, the beautiful kingdom of Tonga, and was warmly welcomed by the locals in the northernmost island group. We are now once again underway, as we loyally follow our supreme leader, the weather gods, to the next set of islands, which has proven to be fruitful for this passage. mornings could be like this. I, I wish all sails could have been like this. <laughs> we uh, couldn't have asked for any better conditions than this. I mean, the winds were perfect, right? And oddly, so we had the winds on the beam or forward of the beam, and we had the swell on the beam or behind the beam, which is an odd combination, uh, but it makes for a very comfortable ride and a very fast ride. So it was just the stars shining down on us last night, for sure. We had such a great, comfortable sail. I mean, it, they, it just almost never happens like that, where you have winds that are that strong and we go that quickly. And then we had no seas, you know? We had, we were, had almost no bashing. It's, like, it's unbelievable. But it's a beautiful, beautiful sunrise. I see Tonga now, right here in the background. And uh, I could not be more excited to be here. We've already booked a whale trip. Um, similar to Morea, they have the whales and they have whale tours, but here they don't let you go out in your own dinghy, which is probably what's going to happen in Morea, I, if I had to guess. Uh, they're going to limit it to only whale tours, whale licensed operators. So we've booked, we've actually booked two, uh, one for ourselves tomorrow and then one for when our friends come in two weeks. So. Yeah, very, very excited to be here.
second look, homie? Good morning, beautiful. Good morning. How you feeling? I'm a little sleepy, but oh my god, we made it to the next set of islands. So fast. So fast. Oh this might have been one of the best god. sails we've ever had. I can't believe how quick we got here. I know. We were crushing. Because of all the, you know, the cleaning they did. Oh yeah, definitely. There's that bird again. Hey, dude. Wow. He's like, what are you guys? What are you doing here in my island? Proud of you, boss. Very proud of you, boss. That was a good run. Great run. We lost all of our wind now. I think it's all gone. Yep. I'm still kind of waking up, but man, this island group is so different looking. They kind of like just stick right out of the ground, or the again, I'm having just waking up. They stick right out of the water. So far, which is really interesting. So cool looking. I knew I heard something. <laughs> oh, a little baby just kind of flip flop. Yeah? Wow, that noise. I love it. I miss that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you had a feeling? <laughs> Something about this bay. I yeah. had a feeling. Okay. <laughs> you were right on. There's a bunch. Woohoo! Oh First whales of the season. And a lot. And a lot. <laughs> I am really excited to be here in Tonga. Especially now. It's whale season, baby! Well, I hope this comes out okay. It's pretty windy. We're going dead into it right now. We've got about a, a five mile, like, I don't want to call it a channel, but what do you call it? Like an opening that we have to go through. I don't know. The islands here at Tonga are really unique and yeah. you kind of weave in and out of yeah. them and, and we're going into the main bay, I guess you could call it. For this for island group. Vava'u. Vava'u um, or Vava'u. It's known as a cyclone hole as well. So we're going to go tuck ourselves up in there and check out Vavau. Yeah, really excited to see this place. I mean, and we got a whale tour so booked for you tomorrow. I've already I'm mentioned. already super excited. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll start getting everything ready today, I'm sure. Yeah. And uh, we'll be here for about a week, I think. And our friends come in like 10 days. It doesn't leave us a lot of time to jump down to the lowest no. islands, which is where the airport is. Um, we haven't had friends come visit us in a while. Uh -huh. so. Let it begin. <laughs> yeah, we got a lot of wind coming though, so we're gonna yeah. tuck up in here for a week and well, just hang let out. Let that pass or something like that. There you go. That's all the information. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, we made it into Vava'u and uh, it's a mooring field, so we'll just have to grab a ball. It's something like 20 Tongan dollars a day, which comes to probably about eight bucks. Um, so that's really nice because it's nothing like what we were paying in Bora Bora, close to 40, yeah, pretty much $40 a day. So there's a lot of boats in here. Hopefully we can find a ball <laughs> and tie off to one of those. Ready? Ready, baby? Find us a ball. See, there's like balls way up in there. Yeah, there is. I like this one. I like the breeze. Okay. You're a really 
really good, hon. Just a little bit to pour it. Okay. I'm in neutral. Okay. I don't know, I'm not real sure about this one. Busted. busted. Yeah. Should we check another one? There's that one there, and there's one in between both uh, her and Go Baby Go. Yeah, let's move. Okay. What do you got? I guess we're getting to you. Harris is that way. <laughs> uh, Wellington is this way. And LA is that way. Thank you guys. Keeping us straight. Okay. Let's see. Friendly Islands longer. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, baby. Passage beer. Passage beer. In a bar. <laughs> Love it. Mmm. Oh, that's good. I miss Corona. So one of our favorite things that we like to do after a passage, um, if nothing else is really going on, is just to chill. Hardcore chill. Uh, hardcore chill. And we set up our cozy corner. <laughs> which is this, ta-da! And we have popcorn and watch a movie and just relax. Like, one of our favorite things to do, honestly, is just super chill, hard, after a passage. Especially after the passage we just had, which was an epic one. And babe has got the popcorn! Yeah. Oh, yeah, babe. I melted some butter to go in there. Yeah, you did. Yeah, I did. Sweet! <laughs> I get the corner. <laughs> oh, weird. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is my favorite. Mmm. 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 I did amazing. Yum. Not to feel my own horn, but. Mm -hmm. You're a pretty good popcorn maker. Thank you. Okay. Oh, yeah. You set the mood. <laughs> Meow. Are you trying to do that like movie theater? Yeah, THX. Boom. The surround sound thing. Yeah. <laughs> that was cool. I missed that. Okay, let's do it. Oh, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> wow, what a beautiful morning already. Well, it's pretty early, um, and if you haven't guessed it, <laughs> we are going out to see some whales today. Um, we've got our gear all together, and we're soon going to go join a whale dive company. Um, here in Tonga, the rules are 
different than they were in French Polynesia. Um, so we are not allowed to go out with the whales on our vessel or any private boat for that matter. You have to go with an authorized whaling boat, basically. Um, so yeah, we are gonna go out today and look for whales. Hopefully get in the water with them, of course. I'm super excited. <laughs> This is great. I just, I look forward to this so much. You know, our last two years in French Polynesia, we got to experience whale season um, in Marea, and it was just spectacular. So we're here again, but in a whole different place. Um, so maybe we'll see the same whales. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Come on around. Yay! Yay. There you go. <laughs> oh man, this is ridiculous. I get so excited, like too excited. But, you know, swimming with whales, come on. <laughs> <laughs> You must be Ben. This yeah. is Ben. <laughs> and we first met Ben, like most of you, on YouTube. No, they don't have a YouTube channel, but they were featured on one. Hello. Yes. So, fellow cruisers came here how long ago? Huh. 2004. Four. Yeah. yeah. You were 12. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. and since then, they have expanded their business and now have a few boats offering whale tours. Hence the whole reason we're here. Hey, how's it going, guys? Good, you? you made it. We yeah, made yeah, yeah. it. Thank yeah, you. Is, is this where you want us? Uh, yeah, you'll be fine here. Okay. Nice. Awesome. awesome. Hi. That's Augie. 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 Nice, nice to meet you. To meet you. Is, um, you're a fill. You're right. Yes. That's right. Yes. So these guys have their own channel. Oh. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. you'll be on one of these. All Just day. do one okay. of like all this. That's all you got to do. This uh, one. <laughs> If it wasn't already obvious to most of you, I've got a little obsession with whales. Ever since our very first encounter in French Polynesia, I was in love, and leaving those islands made it particularly difficult because I didn't want to miss out on swimming with the whales again. So when we found out that there is a large migratory group of humpback whales that come to Tonga every year, I was tingling with excitement. Initially, we didn't know what to expect, nor are we ever guaranteed seeing them or even getting in the water with them. But I had heard that the experience in Tonga offers a more intimate and exclusive experience, and pretty quickly, we were lucky enough to find out for ourselves.
Part of the tour, so mm. this is why you should book with these guys. <laughs> and a view. Look at that cave. How is it? So you incredible. I can imagine being in the middle of a 24 heat run. I mean that. Yes, that would be amazing. Okay. We went back out for another try. Obviously, this time hoping for a heat run of 24 whales. A girl can dream, right? The experience so far in Tonga has been different compared to what we have experienced in French Polynesia, and dare I say, better. There are only a few countries in the world that permit free swimming encounters with different species of migratory whales. French Polynesia has some of the strictest regulations, but from our experience thus far, I would go as far as to say Tonga's stricter still. Yet the encounters have been way more intimate as amazing as it was to freely go out in our own vessel and swim with the whales in French Polynesia, it definitely does have its drawbacks, and clearly not everyone has the same level of respect for the animals, or the rules and regulations. So we often saw either too many people around the whales and or people not treating the amazing privilege with enough respect. Tonga, on the other hand, forbids and bans any personal vessels going out and approaching whales on their own, thus limiting the number of boats around the whales. And from what we've witnessed, this creates a much more enjoyable experience for both the whales and the swimmers. tropical waters are also a mating and calving ground, and these whales migrate here, thousands of miles from Antarctica, year after year. From July through November, the southern hemisphere humpback whales will travel nearly 5,000 miles north to give birth, mate, and nurture their newborns in preparation for their long journey back to the nutrient-rich waters of the southern oceans. If a human were to walk an average of 20 miles per day, it would take 250 days to walk that far. Needless to say, that's a long way for them to travel. And not only that, 
The mother humpbacks can lose up to one third of their body weight while nursing her calf here in the warmer waters of Tonga. And so really my point here is that the least amount of stress and impact on them, the better. And clearly what we have experienced so far, Tonga only limits one boat at a time to be around any one or group of whales for a max of 45 minutes and only four people are allowed to be in the water at a time. That's crazy compared to the 20 or more people that we were accustomed to seeing around the whales in French Polynesia. We've said this before in our previous videos, but it's important to reiterate it again. The whales come all this way to the calmer and more temperate waters for this exact reason, and so it's extremely vital that we as humans are aware of this impact and respect their space, for we are merely visitors in their home. It's just a friendly reminder that these encounters are impactful on both sides and we must respect that. Thank you all for watching this week's episode. Hope you enjoyed it. If you are interested in any of the photos featured in this week's episode, let us know and send us a message as we are setting up an online gallery for print. The holidays are coming up, just saying. Cheers everyone and enjoy okay. the rest of your Group week. High five. Thanks guys. <laughs> that was epic. Such a good day. Yeah. Thank you. Thank Freaking you awesome. Thank you.